Hey guys, this is Toast Gaming. I'm here with Ethan B1. Hey Today guys. we're doing something called Project Rebirth, which we're gonna see how long it takes us to rebirth in minus even. It's not like a competition. We're gonna help each other and we're gonna see how many rebirths we can do in a certain amount of C uh, series you see. Uh, episodes. And also so, a certain amount of UC. Basically we've chose three codes to use haven't we no no we, we chose no we've chosen the codes he put out on twitter so the yeah. the most recent one the the i messed up one the the only thing i've brought so far is a ore tracker no yeah premium, premium tracker. tracker but yeah let's let's get started ethan are you ready yeah i've already started okay. a little bit. well i've got this inferno box which i'm gonna open so you never know might get something good like an old paper pretty nice or a rainbow mine or, or not that'd be good or, or, or not right, right so, so we can box. open our daily gifts now i haven't done that yet i've got a remote iron mine i got a reverse corner oh am i get three to upgrade oh yes i get another box as well oh my god this kind of working i've already got a professional upgrader which is pretty good but it's not what i'm gonna use Okay, I got a wood I've wall got another box. segment. I've got so many boxes. I got two. I could get a doze, but I, I got a jump pad. So, mm, I've brought some things with my UC, which is a industrial rainbow mine and a pirate's loot collector. This this is what we always do to get started off, don't we? Yeah. Uh, get up. It just helps. Uh, do we have coal mines? No, let's go buy some. Oh, I don't have enough. I can just get three. It's because I, I I always think like, oh, I can afford everything, but I'm I'm not on my uh, nice account. Mean. And look, I'm already on millions just from a couple of ores. Now, oh, tropical mines. Triple coal mines viable. Now, uh, now I got the oh, millionaire oh, thing as well. So, yeah. So these these badges are like e easy to get if you use the setup. If you've just started off. Yeah. So we're also going to help you guys if you're if you're new yeah. at the game as well. New at the game and you don't really know what you're doing. So if you keep doing this. Eventually, you'll get to about the trillions mark, which we then can make a setup. Right now, I'm going to do a research point setup, just to help us get some. Okay. All right, I found another pumpkin. Let's see what I get. I might get another. I might get those. Green teleporter. No. Yeah. Green teleporter. Okay. That's still good. So if I need to teleport, all then. I can, but I need a green. But is this one where I have to click it? Oh, I really can't remember to do that. Does it, does it create it? Wait, is that, that is the one that could create research points. And 40 then, ore, okay. And then after that, you buy an ore replicator, so it doubles the ore. And then you'll, as you can see, you're already on 6 billion. And on my first account, I could never get, I could, it took me so long to get to even a million. Because he didn't really know what he was doing. Mm. Uh, can I sort this? Yeah. Mm. And then... Yep. Buy an industrial order. And then, buy about, let's see, can we buy 30? Two billion, yeah. Yes, we can. And then, after we bought thirty, start to buy them. But yeah, they they cost quite a lot. I'm buying some purple ore fences. So I'm gonna buy some of these way up high breeders. You, uh, I forgot how much you want. You want about like ten, don't you? Ore fences, Ethan. Yeah. What? Oh no, don't. Now, uh, after you've done that. You could either choose to buy another industrial rainbow mine, but I'm not going to do that. I don't really see a point. But I'm gonna start making a setup 
once I buy some conveyors. Uh, can we buy 14? No, we can't. How many can we buy? Let's just keep clicking it. We got 199. So, so now that we've done that, we can buy a large conveyor ramp. So this, this is where you can fit these way up high upgraders. I'm just testing. Yep. Okay. Right. Oh, I didn't mean to buy 11. So we're gonna stop. I only brought one way up high upgrader. Well, the thing is though, if you if you get like the dreamer's anguish on your first <laughs> on your first life, uh, do you think Pretty we should not so. use it? Because uh, that's well, kind we won't of really have mines that are good enough. That's life. True. So let's just put comments on this as well. So after we've done that, we need to buy some more pie upgraders. Some more. We need about uh, about a row of them, nearly. So to start my setup of what I'm doing is I'm just going to put some basic layers on. I'm going to map out what we need to buy. So for the later parts of this setup, this is what we're going to need to buy. Um, these are flaming ore scanners and Schrodinger's, but we don't need them. And also this um, orbital upgrader. Um, but you have 27. What are you doing? Are you just doing coal mining to thinger? Yeah. You wanna buy three on blast upgraders? Um Yeah, and that's about it really. Yeah, some ore sappers, you want four of these. Alright, I'm just saving that's up for one. some money. And um, um These come in help these conveyor ramps. Um, pretty much for a furnace right now, best thing we can get is probably how much we got? 25 billion. It's probably the Heavenly Forge, which we only need one of. Yep. Um. We're gonna buy uh, an auto bar and sender. And now that you've done that, after you do that, so and then you set up off. You're gonna put your alt receiver mm. not that way. Okay, that's fine. I can't see where it's going. Uh, yeah, like this. Ah, there's one thing that's pretty hard. Oh no, not like that. Right. Yeah, like there. this. So it's going this way. Then we need to save up a bit of money. So what you want to do is you want to save up enough to get it. Um, these cursed or purifiers. They're super good. Um, let's buy some more coal mines so we can get more money. We can just get more. No, they're on this. They're on this one. And so, as you can see, the portable ore advances, it can be only upgraded 30 times, so that's why you should you only, only buy, buy 30. 30. Yeah. Unless if you have a Tesla resetter, which... is a reborn you, item. Yeah, so you're going to have to get to 25 quintillion. Yep. If you don't know what a reborn is, it's where you pretty much destroy your whole base and most of your items, but you get one special, like, really good item. And you keep that item as well. Forever. 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 I've got another four teleport receiver. So and that way. Push through here. Just go along here, and then you buy four ore zappers, or three. Yeah, you buy three. Place them like this. And then, 
Oh no. Um. Well, that's. Uh, okay. Gonna have to switch it around a little bit like that. Then I can fit my industrial aura welder. Let's go see what Ethan's doing over here. Got some way up high upgraders. You've got lots, man. You've got way more money than me. Oh, you've got way, way, way more basic. Go on, mind something. <laughs> what are you doing? Put more I'm doing my setup. And if you want to know where the um, where the oh, what's his name? The head of horseman. He is here. Yeah. He, he's not on my base, he's on the certain person's base that's there. And it, also, he's selling Crate crate Storm, which is really good. It drops lots of boxes. Inferno Box, which is the best, well, it's the third best box in the game. I mean, it's the second best box in the game. Lucky Clover, which increases your chance of getting a vintage or exotic. And a Premium Tracker, it's basically, if you've heard of the... What was that other tracker called? Was it called Ore Tracker? Yeah, it was called yeah. Ore Tracker. So you didn't used to keep it. The, when the you rebirth. When you rebirth. But this one, Premium Tracker, you keep it. So I kind of like that. And then. What do we need next? Your furnace. Um, I'm sure I'm missing something. No, I'm not. Okay. And if you do have any, uh, if you don't have any of these, like, oh, I can't show you yet because you need 10k RP. Oh, by the way, the only thing that powers um, the industrial rainbow mine is coal mines. They're the only thing that will make it work. So you can't put like iron mines, just in case you didn't know. And then you make sure that's like right into the thingy. Use. Oh, I need to just drop 51. Oh, my I, I don't know why. Alright. And you buy the pink teleport receiver or pink teleport sender. Well, actually, you can buy any coloured teleporter you want because it doesn't really matter. Oh. I have to put. There we go. Now we need some tiny conveyors. So then we're going to point this one into going into this conveyor. And then we're going to go like that, and then we're going to go just like that. And then we're going to go like... Actually, oh. it doesn't go like that. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to be... And so, what you do with the... Um, what you do with, like with the ore teleporter... Okay, that's not right. What you do with the ore teleporter is, so this is a pink teleporter receiver, and then the the pink teleporter sender, you uh, you have to put ores in here. Well, you have to put ores in here, so it so it can actually work. So it will teleport it. So right. we're just gonna go up, to and then just turn right there, and then we're gonna put a large conveyor ramp and we're going to put some way up high upgrades and so after you've done that it, it goes spread. and uh, as you can see the pink teleporter sender if the ores go on the pink teleporter sender then it gets sent through to this pink teleporter receiver which then you can start to build your setup with which uh, mine are you using i'm using another rainbow mine i just decided to buy another one uh, I know what you mean. And then they go through these upgraders, which have no ore limit. So the the ore can be worth as much money as it as it can, and it and it still won't blink. So basically, the ores when the ores blink, I mean when the up, upgrades blink, that, that means you that can't means, upgrade them anymore. It means yeah. you don't want to place any more down. But these ones, the, these will blink quite a bit. But you just don't just don't. Just don't worry about that. And after you've done that, you won't get much money, but this is when it gets a bit annoying because you have to change your setup round. Like lots. Yeah.
you have to, have to get rid of this. Guys, if you're pretty much doing what I'm doing, um, we just want to be saving up our money until we can get like the trillions, so we can buy our main upgraders that are going to add like so much money. And then you get rid of this. You have to get rid of all of these portable lore advances. Must. And if you are watching this on on your Xbox One, then this setup might take a, a while to build because because you it's can't. It's easier to do on PC. Yeah, because you can't buy. Yeah, you, ha you have oh, to keep. You have to things. keep clicking buy instead of you can't. You can't but buy like how much you want. Yeah, you can't just type in. I want this amount. Then you get rid of all of these conveyors. And then when those conveyors are gone, you have to buy digital ore cleaners. They do cost quite a bit, so if you don't have enough money, just save up. And guys, we're going to put our ore tracker here. Premium tracker, I mean. Then our industrial. Actually, I, f I forgot to do that. What you do is get rid of Garnet. your, you get rid of your, and then you put it there so you s you can see how much it's worth, and then you put your teleporter sender, and then it should tell you how much the ore's worth, and then look, I as you can see, this is how much the ores are worth. So it does go up quite a lot. So look. They're worth like 1 million now to 636k. And then, when you add these, you can see it gives a really big bonus. So you're going to want to buy at least about, I think, a whole row of these. And as you can see, it says increase the following of ore up to 60%, up to 100 million. So if, again, if the ores are worth 100 million, it will blink. The upgrade will blink so it won't work. And then you can just place you just place some more conveyors if you don't have if you don't have any um, if you don't have any digital ore cleaners. And then after you've done the row of them you turn you make a corner and then you you place down the portable ore advancers. Actually, just need to see something. Will this work? I think it will. It's just because in this, in the blue box, uh, that shows if if you can place it there or not. And as you can see, if it's red, then you can't place it there, so it won't work. So let's go see by putting a. And look, it it will not work here very well because this because there won't be enough space to put the portable ore advancer. But, um, that sh I think that should be fine. And what you want to do is go here and make sure they're all going in in case an ore, like, flies out. Just so it's a bit of the, the sketchy way. Go by here. Sorry, I'm getting rid of all of these. And then I need to place my ore pulser down because some of the ores are getting stuck there. And then now you can add your portable ore advancers. Which, if there's not enough space to put them there, then you might have to make another row. Like what I'm gonna probably have to do. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to place another row. Oh no, I've skadoodled up. You skadoodled up. Mm. Uh, quickly buy a. Right. And then. Oh, sorry. But then you can place both of them. Both of them. I mean, you can place them on. Each of each side. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, four, three, two, one, and then, oh. Okay. Messing up a bit here. Right, there we go. Now that's enough. Then we can place the conveyors. And as you can see, the ores are worth like 80 million now. So that's a lot better. And this one was worth 100 million. So, so that's so that's good. And then after you've done that, uh, you can place. Oh, that was weird. You can place your conveyor ramp. Then your ore zappers. I'm gonna have to make another corner here. And then, then you can place your industrial ore welder. And then, again, these have to work with coal mines. It can't work, can't work with any other ore. It has to work with coal ore. And then, this will double the the ore uh, of how much it's worth. And then you've done that you you can place your can place your furnace wherever mine is there we go heavenly forge which you should be able to afford yes. what, 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 and then you bought that. that and then you're getting like you should get quite a bit of money and then again if if you haven't bought any digital ore cleaners or if there's still space to put them, you can. And then you just do that. Oh, and then, there we go. And then you just save up until you have enough money to buy all the digital ore cleaners. And then after that, when you've got all your digital ore cleaners, you could save up for advanced ore scanners, which the ores have to go through that red laser so it gets upgraded Let's and then see how Ethan is doing then after you can place your sacrificial altar which times is ores by seven and however this one will times all by five and then it will add a hundred so so we're getting about one billion we're getting about one to two billion So let's go see how um <laughs> not very how well. Doing. I need to use the I need to use my pirate sloop collector to get more money. Oh. You are uh, on I'm twenty billion. Oh, did you buy a professional upgrader or did you already have it? No, I got it out of a box. Oh that's that's quite lucky that is. So we kind of done pretty much the same thing. Yeah, but I've just added my all wheel and you know, and then I'm gonna add you know digital all cleaners and then you know stuff. Then you're gonna get money. But mm -hmm. after you get fifty four trillion, uh, it you takes quite long to get to get quadrillions. quadrillion. Actually, can I get that yet? Yeah. Okay, I can because most items it says you have to look. I lock at 16k RP, but but don't worry because you should at least get a bit of RP by the time by the time you need to buy Schrodinger's. Okay, so now now that we've done that, we can nearly afford three more. Let's just wait. Okay, there we go. Now, four, five, and six. So now we can place two. And these, and these will sometimes blink as well. The um, digital ore cleaners. 
and as you can see, we're getting quite a bit of money now. And if you if you do end up getting your rainbow upgrader, I would suggest putting that at the start because it doesn't upgrade ores worth then a hundred million. So now we are going to place down some portable ore advances where we couldn't. Where we had to move them. Okay, we can afford some more now. Put down the premium tracker. Oh, we're we're going up. We're going up quite fast now. There we go. We're going up about eight billion now to eleven. So it's so this is good. And this and this will take this will take you a while to end up getting to to uh, 54 trillion. Okay. But now we can place our last one and then we can might as well sell them. Because I may have bought too many. Do we have any other upgraders? Well, we do have that one, but that one's not good. Okay, now we can buy a uh, advanced ore scanner, which which will which will help you out quite a lot. Oh my god! The heavenly forge just hits boxes. Is really weird. Oh, How did a piece of ore even get there? I think a piece of your ore has come all the way to. I'm not even thinking that. <laughs> I don't even want it. No. It's weird. So, do you want to end this episode here, Logan? Yeah, I guess we'll end this episode here. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.